Hey yo everyone, welcome back to a quote unquote mini series here. I asked on the original video if I should do a part two of the Turia NPC Battle Royale, and here we are. A lot more NPCs, a lot more fresh faces in here, and a couple of familiar faces. Hopefully, I leave all the right mods in the description below. But uh, you know, I'ma just I'ma just say right now, go ahead, everyone take their picks and who you think is gonna win the whole entire thing. Uh, when I say whole entire thing, an NPC that wins twice. I'm gonna consider them the winner of it all. But I'm gonna go with the trash man right here. He's my number one. Come on, it's Danny DeVito, the trash man as an NPC. He's amazing. And then we also got this guy over here, the white run guard. I'm gonna choose him as my second runner up. And you know, might as well choose a third one. You know, I'm feeling the uh, pirate captain wherever he's at because he's usually a strong NPC. Now, I don't have super strong or overpowered NPCs in this, at least the ones that I know of. So if there is an OP NPC in here, as I didn't know that they were that OP. But yeah, as you can see down here, we got these fans right here hopefully this stops npcs from going to the side because look boom it shoots him over here i had these fans specifically modified by the creator of the enigma mod logic thank you shout out to him and as we can see if i take an npc like lewis here and go like this no, no go the other way you know i'll just drop him into it it shoots them really far now the only problem is that they may or may not do this and i kind of need a way to stop this oh it just kind of stopped right there the thing is the npcs might keep on doing that but uh we'll see what happens i might have like a block an actuated block that like appears here every now and then you know just a timer or something like that a block that appears to stop them if they do that but let's get into our first round all right we are here ready to begin our first round everything should be ready to go all the npcs should have the same health uh, i had to hold the dryad here because she's trying to kill herself she's just gonna kill herself anyways oh well what can you do i'll put her back here in her corner but let us begin the first round of the second Turia NPC Battle Royale begin. Whoever I voted to win, please win. Just for me, please win. Oh, I forgot to turn on the, the barriers. Oops, it's all good though, because they're jumping right over them. But there is nothing but chaos going on. Hopefully you can still hear me. I 100% forgot who I voted for. I still hope they win somehow. I doubt it, because I don't even think I see anyone that I voted for alive. It's all good, I guess. Oh my God, the tax collector got launched. He got launched. Hey, you got to get into the fight, my guy. You can't be sitting over here. Get over there. Oh, <laughs> I launched his ass into the fight. Is this dude using a minecart as a weapon? That seems very deadly. If you get hit by a minecart, I don't think you're surviving. Honestly, if, I don't get, if you get hit by a lot of things in the head, I don't think you're surviving. But let's see who takes the W here. We got some interesting NPCs all from different walks of Terraria, whether it's a modded walks or non modded walks. What does that mean? But we got our three finalists here. Okay. We got the, the goblin slayer versus, I don't even know who that is. The fisherman, fisherman and not the fisher boy. Cause you know, the one in vanilla Terraria is a fish boy. Congratulations to the fisherman NPC from one of the NPC mods. I don't know, wacky, useful, helpful. One of those ones. And here is your prize. Good, sir. You deserve it. All right, here we are, round two. The Dryad slowly killing herself. Let us begin. I don't know who's gonna take the W. Honestly, this is anyone's best bet to take the W because, you know, there's no super overpowered NPCs from what I know. Um, like, there's no Fargo's mod NPCs, no mutant NPCs, stuff like that. And uh, anyone could win this, honestly. But I am seeing some NPCs that were winning or that were in the finals before are in this grouping right here. Like, I believe the uh, dye merchant and that lumberjack was in it. Same thing with the fisherman. He's still here. Tax collector was also in there. Maybe I have to rearrange the NPCs. I don't know, but they're all coming into this left corner over here. Let me get a better angle. Look at this. A lot of melee fighters. That's interesting that all the melee fighters are the ones that are alive right now so let's see who takes the w they keep on going to the fan they don't learn do they terraria npcs are very stupid we've seen that by all the tests i've done to them but uh they can be smart every now and then it's very rare but when you see an npc be smart it is actually very exciting three vanilla npcs making it to the final three that's insane what are the odds of that probably pretty damn high because there's like 20 or 30 terraria npcs probably more than that but there we go there is your winner the tax collector congratulations man here's your reward man all right we are here with our second round third round i already lost count i move npcs around dryad killing herself what's new let's get it round three who's taking the w so the npcs have been moved around like i said uh i don't know who's gonna win now because there might be one npc that's affecting a big outcome which is why certain npcs remain other than others but i don't know maybe those npcs just have good survival tactics this seems like they might just have good survival tactics 
Because look, there's certain NPCs in this group again who are alive again. And it's weird because I moved everyone. <laughs> I even moved some of those NPCs to make sure that, you know, they wouldn't be stuck in the last place position or, you know, well, not last place position, top three. But we got a new person here in the lineup with the uh, Steampunker and she has a gun. So it's kind of not fair to those melee people she just killed. But congratulations to the Steampunker. You win. You don't, that, that's it. I'm not gonna do anything to you. You actually get to live, which is very surprising. <laughs> All right, here we are. Uh, f uh, round four? Four? The fourth round, I believe? I don't know. Let's do it. Hopefully we see, I mean, we've seen a new winner every time, but we've just seen the same group of winners or same group every time. Let's see if we get somebody new. Somebody that we didn't even expect. Now, I've, I had a feeling that if you're a ranged projectile character, you know, you'd be fine but you know, the last or the first two rounds showed that all melee characters are winning which is very very odd uh but as we can see here there's what one range character two range characters out of this grouping and same npcs are still alive uh notably the lumberjack the goblin slayer the tax collector the die trader and the uh, fisherman but i i don't know i don't know it can still be anyone's game there is the bandit with the pistol. He's still alive. And the goblin slayer, I believe he uses a projectile and he uses a sword. I'm not actually sure on that. He's trying to get away though. Nah, -uh. you come back over here. Oh, goblin slayer versus the fisherman. We could have our first two time winner in the fisherman. I'm gonna just, when's if I do that? Can I launch him over here? You think I can launch him off the fan? No, probably not. You know, just go over there. Oh, there you go. That was a fair hit right there. He bounced off the wall and strategically landed a hit. His knives are literally going through the fisherman. Hey, fisherman, you got to do something, bro. Y'all got to fight. You're a melee character. Get What the hell did he just die to from the fall? All right, congratulations to the Goblin Slayer for winning, I believe, his first round. I don't know, actually. All right, for this round and probably the next couple of rounds, it may be unfair, but I have replaced those NPCs that keep on ending up in like the top six, and I have replaced them all with uh, the trash man, Danny DeVito. So hopefully, Danny DeVito wins which may or may not be biased but you know oh, dried killed herself hold up let me add another danny devito all right now with that settled let's do it let us begin the seventh or eighth round who knows hopefully we'll see new winners hopefully we will see somebody new here because i've completely removed that top six group that i always see i guess it really really depends on where you're placed at and what the npcs are next to you know what their abilities are if they're projectiles if they're homing or what but as we can see here, there is one Danny alive. The dream is alive. The Danny DeVito dream is alive. I'm noticing the uh, the miner over there. He's alive too. I usually see him and the stylist alive. So maybe I got to remove them too. But oh, Danny DeVito with a strong trash can to the face. Can the trash man finally take a W when there's like eight of him? We'll see. He's getting some nice throws off with that trash can. The bandit NPC is just doing stupid shit like NPCs usually do. So let me bring him over here. See if that makes it a more fair fight for either of them. I don't know. The bandit running towards Danny though. Danny getting hits off on the bandit. The bandit not even drawing his gun. Bandit, come on. Take your gun out. You have a gun. Here, I'll help you. Look at this. Oh, look, I made you dodge that. Boom. Look, I'll be again. Oh, oh. Okay, you got hit by the one. This one. <laughs> I tried to help him dodge it. But Danny, I think, is going to take this because look the bandit wants to run into a fan over and over again congratulations danny you represented your nation today <laughs> and you and your seven or eight dead brothers get to go home a winner all right i think this is like round six or round seven you know we're back to our regular lineup here and let's just see who wins i'm just gonna assume that it may be you know the six that always makes it to the end the six or eight that always makes it to the end somehow now i really don't know what npc is doing crazy damage like there's a couple explosions here and there and i don't know what those explosions are from honestly maybe it's the demolitionist i doubt the demo is doing that much damage before he dies but it could be uh the bandit npc gonna be taken out early this time by the cactus npc who is a very strong npc if he can actually hit projectiles as you notice the projectiles are going through the minor npc the cactus npc's projectiles they are going through some of the npcs which is weird that they do that but i have hope that we have a fresh winner i don't know the cactus npc is dealing with some tough people here i think both these npcs are from the same mod and he's in between both he's playing very well though good strafing mechanism oh look at that look at that he hit him once but can he hit him again i don't know as you can see 
Oh, he actually got one. We may see a new NPC win. Oh my God, we have a new winner. And that's with the, the OG lineup, minus the Dryad who I replaced with the old man. But look at this, the Cactus NPC, congratulations. Here is your prize for being a new winner. You get to visit space for free. All right, this will be our final round here. I don't know if we've had someone win twice or not, but this is our final round. Now, one thing, let me just test one thing here. This NPC, Johnny the Pyro. This dude, I think, is a very strong NPC, so I'm gonna put him up here, okay? And I'm gonna switch a couple of NPCs around, and I'm gonna put the Pyro directly in the middle and see if that affects anything, because I think he's a very strong NPC, so he may be the one exploding everyone. But let's see, three, two, one, y'all may begin. Let's see if we get a new winner or if we get a repeat of somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I've done a couple rounds of this and I don't think we've had a, a two time winner, but I don't know. I haven't really been keeping track that much. But I have a little bonus round after this round. I have a little bonus round after this. So even moving some of those NPCs around did not seem to affect whether the whether or not the miner would make it into like the top 10 he just got taken out right there though but the fact that he still made it the fact that these four npcs always make it four or six npcs always make it into like the top like 20 or 10 the die trader the fisherman and the tax collector is very very interesting like i don't understand how i've moved them around twice now so you think that they would not make it but we might have a new winner the cheeto towed us dude might be our winner let's get a closer view here i think he might be the winner he has projectiles he shoots leaves imagine being killed by a leaf whatever none of my business let's just see who wins this i think that's it right there boom and mr cheeto towed us himself is the winner congratulations here is your reward kind sir so we are here with our bonus round and you know since rattles lost the npc olympics we won't be seeing them this year because i'm trying not to have too many contestants from previous years contest so let's see you know if someone in here's name rattles and if they win i don't know now i have a feeling that either bones mcgee is gonna win or gloomy maze let's see here we go three two one battle to the death my bony brethren oh my god what a beautiful noise honestly so cathartic it's such a fun thing rattles magoo the skeleton merchant was slain the first one dead of course name rattles magoo oh here we go we got a lot of deaths coming now this is an even battle all around probably because they're all the same npc which makes sense honestly but there is a bunch in here still with green health and uh, those ones are probably going to be the ones that make it to the end and we got a lot of different names popping up here a lot of rattles in there i see two rattles died back to back a third one died and uh you know there's still a couple npcs with a lot of health but this might be close honestly i thought those npcs with the green health that were gonna last longer but you know it seems that there's only a couple that have high health now and those two may be the winner or not the winner those two may be the last two in this fight and we got three left we got three left we got gloomy maze oh who takes out skeleton skeleton the skeleton merchant and we got gloomy maze oh man what a matchup here gloomy versus gloomy let's see who's about to take it oh gloomy throws a bone gloomy throws a bone back S somebody throw a bone boom gloomy throws a bone at gloomy gloomy responds by throwing a bone right back at gloomy gloomy misses the bone thanks to the actuator wall there protecting gloomy oh gloomy and gloomy going off at each other one of them trying to throw it at me i'm the ref do that again and i will fucking kill you so don't do that again actually who did that gloomy gloomy did that all right we'll see even if you win after this game we'll see and there we go gloomy the one on the right side took the w but because he thought ha 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 let me throw a bone at the ref even though he's invisible he thought that it was funny well guess what gloomy that's what you fucking get all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know second part to a very popular video of mine and we might do second parts for a bunch of other popular videos for example some of the best pickaxes in terraria part two and even more mounts in terraria stuff like that because you know there's a lot to still cover for those subjects and video topics but yeah thank you for watching the video remember if we hit 200k subscribers by the 14th of february i've changed it from the 7th to the 14th because the 7th was way too close for me to even make it the 7th but if we hit 200k by the 14th of february i will be doing a game raiders week five but you don't know what that means that means i'm gonna be posting a video every day for a whole week and possibly stream on some of those days too but yeah i'll see y'all next time thank you for watching bye bye